I found this image very surrealistic because he had these flowers bracing him with affection and he told me that he was preparing after a soup with these leaves, which is making me a little bit laughing because I thought, okay, <laughs> poppy soups, you know? I'm Vincenzo Floramo. I'm a professional photographer from Italy. I get the opportunity to visit TNLA Tang Liberation Army, which are based in the north of Shan State in Burma. They are an army group fighting for the recognition of federal state within side Burma, where they live. They are known to be fighting against production and smuggling of opium in the area. Burmese rebel groups see that the Burmese government is using opium, the drugs, as a silent bullet to kill their people. They see the drug as a danger weapon that could destroy them from inside. So they basically fighting for their freedom. We drove into the forest and into the jungle and they hide me inside the four wheel drive with a blanket because if uh, a Burmese military patrolling the area were stopping us, I could have gone to jail as a, as a criminal because I was collaborating with the illegal army group. 10 to 15 soldiers went through this big field. I just jumped with them in the middle of the field and start shooting the picture while they were destroying the poppies. With the, you can see here with a piece of stick, they were just going around and, and shooting. There was a big risk that while they are destroying the, the poppies, the Burmese soldier come and attack them while they are destroying. After they destroyed all the poppy fields, I saw this guy just having this flowers on him, his innocent young face. Most of the soldiers of TNLA looks very young. A commander just invited me inside the hut to take picture of this guy smoking with a handmade pipe. You can see here perfectly that it's a totally artisanal bamboo pipe. They told me that uh, people who are addicted to opium are kept inside prison where they have to disintoxicate it themselves, and until they don't control themselves, they are not free to go out. The most problem with, with drugs, it comes for the, the woman in their society, because mostly are men, the ones who are using drugs. They start to become very violent. So there's a lot of social issues and violence inside of the families for the use of drugs. That was the biggest problem they have with uh, opium. This project is about LGBT and specifically about the transgender group in uh, Pakistan. Nowadays it's illegal to be gay in uh, 69 countries around the world and the penalties goes from 2 to 20 years and uh, in the Major Muslim countries, it's even more dangerous to be a LGBT today because they have the Sharia law in place and they have even more heavy punishment. Transgender are part of the culture of Pakistan. They are accepted in the society, but they are not respected. This photo protects Sara. She's a beautiful transgender. There was a party and she was really dressed up. After when I asked her about dressing and she answered me that the gender is something you have inside your heart and is not to have nothing to do with showing off by clothes. Transgender in Pakistan used to live in community where there are a guru who take care of them. Normally is the oldest transgender in the community. Here in this picture we have Zaini. That was the first time he started to make up as a girl and for what I know nowadays he's a transgender. So this picture is really the first time where his transition start. This picture was uh, shot in Mandalay and that was the first time I came in touch with section 377. This guy, it's called TJ. He was shouting I love you to his boyfriend that lived a thousand kilometers away in the capital, Yangon. And for him was 
like feeling free to tell everyone that he was loving his boyfriend. So I found that very poetical, the fact that he was shouting, I love you from, from the hill. There are a lot of refugees from Burma that came over the border and live in refugee camp in Thailand. All the tradition that exists in Burma, they are still alive inside the camp. Every year, the parents send their small children normally to have an experience and live with the monks for at least one week. And it's a kind of initiation to Buddhism. So they become monks and there is a ceremony every year that during three days which these kids go through and with the last day when their head gets shaved, they become Buddhist monk. This shave them as a symbolic detachment from worldly pleasure. This picture was shot the second day of the ceremonies and this resumes exactly what the ceremony is. They symbolize when the Prince Siddhartha leave the rich royal palace in the search of the fourth noble truth. So they dress up and they have to show off all the richness as a prince. But a few days later, they will lose all that richness to, to become monks. This photo is really powerful. It's when the monks are shaving the kids before they are definitely ordered as a monk. And uh, they were shaved with uh, one of those old blade it's pretty rough shaving without cream, but from the picture it looks like the, the guy didn't mind much and was not having any pain. For a photographer, there is this utopic dream that your work could have an effect of the subject you are showing. So something will change for the person you are showing or the village you are showing, what you are denouncing there. Unfortunately, most of the time is not happening, but I think it's very important to show to the Western world the privilege they have showing them photos from unprivileged country.